Get on the ground! Get on the ground! To serve a process, your boss is being sued under Title 18 of the United States Code, Section 1350 for genocide, crimes against humanity, and torture. Mr. President, this is only a civil lawsuit. We can ignore it. Mr. President! Dubal thinks it was an assassination attempt. Polonium, like the Russian guy in London. FBI checked the service of process forms and his hotel room. No radioactivity trails. Acid reflux? A history of asthma or heartburn. He has a bug bite on his hands. Malaria is endemic in this country. Let's start him on quarter. <clears throat> I don't want to step on any toes, but I guess I do have a higher duty to the patient. If you have something to say, say it. You're rushing to a diagnosis because you're rushing out of this room because you're rightly upset with me. Although I wasn't the one who made that asinine decision. Do you have anything medical to say? Poison fits better because of the vomiting. Bug bite might not be a bite. Might be the start of chloracne. Assassination attempt through dioxin poisoning. It's hard to detect. Fits. Start him on Alestra. Patient's having a heart attack. Mask at 15 liters. Just like to know. Stretch kinase, heparin. Last of fever. You were mad that I withheld it last time, so I'm saying it right up front. It's already stabilized, so 40 cc's of ribavirin. We're home in time for Ellen. I checked. There's no Lhasa in Dabala's country. Oh. The rash is gone. It rules out your dioxin theory. It's running a slight fever, which we can add to the heart plus the lung ulcers. Ebola? Malbec? Too long an incubation period. And... Yes. Don't people sometimes travel? Places that have, you know, a fever that originated in the Nigerian town of Lhasa. He's been to three other countries in the last two years. Here, Zimbabwe, and Sharm el Sheikh, Egypt. No Lhasa there either. Oh. Again. Trypanosomiasis? No sleep disturbances. What well, fits best with the symptoms, and is geographically the most. What? The Egypt visit was for the African Union meeting, where I'm guessing he was meeting people from Africa which includes Liberia, which sends some members of their foreign ministry, which has itself just been hit by an outbreak of jock itch. No, wait, not jock itch. Lassa fever. I'll start the ribavirin. You paged me? This is Ama. She is from our country, but she lives here now. We'd like you to use her blood. For what? She recovered from Lassa fever two years ago. Our health minister has advised us that plasma from one who has the antibodies is much more effective than ribavirin. This is a signed consent form. Will you take her blood, please? No. I want to do this. You understand that we will be using your blood to cure President Bala. I know. Are you from the Sitibi people? I am Sitibi. Did they threaten you in some way, your, your family members back Please home? Please let me give the blood. Please. Do it. The bloody eye was from an enlarged lymph node blocking the retinal vein. We restored circulation, but means we've got to add lymph involvement to the heart, lungs, and rising fever. I'm just going to sit here quietly. Why? I feel like I've been inadvertently undermining your authority, so I'm just going to observe. I'm not going to say a word. The heart could point to sarcoidosis. <clears throat> I'm thinking the x-rays indicate a lack of hyalur adenopathy, which rules it out. Staph aureus. No. Because he Smokes? He's miming a thermometer. He says the fever's not high enough. So some other infection. He's wrong. The fever could be misleading us into thinking infection. Talk.
It could all fit with lymphoma. Uh, I need you to spread your legs so I can do an H. Can't be lymphoma. LDH is normal. He's got good liver function. It's masking the elevated levels. Biopsy the lymph node. Check it out. Did you get the biopsy results? Is it lymphoma? No. So we have to move on. Infection, perhaps autoimmune. Did you get the biopsy results? Yes, I just told you. Is it lymphoma? Scleroderma. You don't have some clever way of telling me this time? Patient's dying. I'm done with clever. Look at his skin. It's tight for a 75-year-old. Based on his admission photo. Bit subjective. Fever points to infection. Now he's got nodules on his fingers. That's blastomycosis. Nodules? You're calling tight skin subjective? I'm with Foreman. We would have seen fungus spores on the head CT. Fungal lesions can be missed. We can settle this with a test. Anti-centromer antibodies would point to scleroderma. Point two, not prove. And his fever's too high. We have to treat him now. If we treat wrong, we could send this disease into overdrive. Here we We need a blood sample. We got to do the anti-centromer antibody test. It'll show House is right. It's scleroderma. Why are you doing this now? Because I didn't want to kill him. And you're right. I have to take a side. So I'm going to do what I can to keep him alive. I'll get you the blood. Positive for anti-centromere antibodies. We've got to get him off the antifungals and onto steroids immediately. I told you before, this only points to scleroderma. It doesn't prove it. You're just going to ignore the test? Blasto still fits best. I know it's not conclusive, but when you put it with all the other I've evidence... i made my decision. O2 sets down to 88. Going through the main stem bronchus. Just the right upper lobe. Get them out of here. No! It's OK. Bleeder. Cauterizing. Got it? Yeah. Get the paddles. Going back in. What is happening? He's bleeding into his lungs. Charging. Another bleeder. I can get it. Hold on. There's a third. God, there's a dozen. Shocking. Clear. Charging. Clear. 